It's a blistering rebu rebuke for the leader of the far-right extremist group. As Stuart Rhodes learns his fate finally, a federal judge labeling January 6th domestic terrorism for the first time today. And it came during the sentencing of Rhodes, the founder of the Oath Keepers. In the longest sentence yet related to the Capitol riot, Rhodes has been ordered to spend 18 years in a federal prison. And that is nearly as long as he was married to my next guest, Tasha Williams. Ta uh, Tasha uh, Adams, uh, ta excuse me. Thank you for joining us, Tasha. So, Tasha, you have known uh, Stuart Rhodes for a long time. You know deeply this organization, the Oath Keepers, with all of that knowledge, knowing that for the next 18 years, you and your six children can live your lives with Stuart Rhodes behind bars. How do you feel about that? I'm very happy about it. Um, it's been a great week for us, really, as a family. Um, we're happy to feel safe. We're happy he's in a place where he can't hurt us, he can't hurt anybody else. Um, you know, of course, there's that dark cloud sort of looming of um, pardon, um, yeah. depending on, on who gets in office next or even, you know, beyond that, the next election. So there, there's some, you know, reason for concern. But other than that, it's, you know, it's been great to, to feel safe, really. And it's been, a, my divorce was finalized this week after five and a half years of, of <laughs> trying to deal with that. So it's it's been a lot at once. Um, well, you raised the <laughs> issue of the pardons. I want to play for you what uh, two a, a presidential campaign candidates um, have said about the prospect of pardons for people like uh, your ex-husband. Listen. Will you pardon the January 6 rioters who were convicted of federal offenses? I am inclined to pardon many of them. Do you think the January 6th defendants deserve to have their cases examined by a Republican president? On day one, um, I will have uh, folks that will get together and look at all these cases who people are victims of weaponization or political targeting, and we will be aggressive at issuing pardons. If you could talk to uh, former President Trump, Ron DeSantis, what would you want them to understand about who the Oath Keepers are, who Stuart Rhodes really is? I'm not sure anything I would say would make any difference because I, I think they fully understand what he is and what he tried to do, and they fully support it. He is a person who plotted war for over a decade. Um, all he ever thought about was creating chaos, creating violence, violence in the home, violence you know, in the country, anything that could um, put himself on top and any way he could make that happen. Um, and I think, you know, Trump fully understands, DeSantis fully understands. They, they know what Stewart's about and they, they agree with him. Are you worried at all uh, that if Rhodes were pardoned that there would be a risk of another potential January 6th? Oh, absolutely. Uh, this is Stewart's life's work. This is what he does. He... Um, he's incredibly brilliant. He's com in completely manipulative. He's good at what he does. Um, and he will just regroup immediately. I guarantee he already has plans in the works for as soon as he's out. He will regroup and he will do this again. And he will do this again until he creates the kind of chaos that he wants to create. So today, uh, Rhodes stood up in court and he called himself a political prisoner. He equated himself to uh, the former president. Uh, Trump. Members of Congress have used that same term, political prisoners, to describe January 6th defendants. So what should they know about your ex-husband before they go and champion the cause of those people? And I guess I should say, I mean, it's not just lawmakers. I mean, I, I think there are probably millions of people, millions of their supporters, who do view January 6th prisoners as uh, political prisoners. Well, I would want people to know that Stuart Rhodes um, in particular, but a, a lot of these leaders um, on January 6th are, have a lot of similar personality traits. Um, Stuart has destroyed the lives of everyone he's touched and not just his political enemies. He's destroyed the lives of people on his own side. There are hundreds of people who desperately, desperately wish they had never gone to the Capitol on January 6th. They don't know what they were thinking. They don't know why they let themselves 
get talked into this kind of thing. Um, there is nothing that Stuart Rhodes or anyone like him can bring to anyone except for destruction. Um, and right. that's, that's what they're in it for. That's the goal. And that's all he's interested in. Tasha Adams, thank you very much for joining us tonight.